Hey guys, what's going on before this video starts? Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that stuff like that. And let's go ahead and get straight into this really cool original effect. So, um, I guess I could shuffle the card if you really wanted me to. But there's honestly no need to because um, all these cards are blank. I can go through the cards and show you all of these cards really are blank cards. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to touch the back of any card. Say it's, uh, I don't know, say it's this one right here. So you could touch the back of any card, it really doesn't matter, but in this case you touch the back of a blank card. Now, here is what's really cool about that, okay? You touch the back of a blank card, and in my prediction that I have here, blank. I predicted you would touch a blank card. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is a pretty dumb trick, right? Um, makes you know no sense whatsoever. All the cards were blank. You saw that. Well, actually, um, you did touch the only blank card in this deck. Okay, guys. So let's get into the tutorial for this trick. Um, you're only going to need one thing, and that's just one blank card. Okay. So you're just gonna need one blank card. That's all you need for this trick. They sell these at magic shops and stuff. This deck comes with one. This is the Red Knox by Alex Pandria. I will leave a link in the description where you can purchase these so they're actually relatively new that's why I'm all slipping and everything they're really uh, slippery so you're just gonna need a blank card and uh, it's going to go on the bottom and that is your only setup for this trick alright so you got your blank card on the bottom take a piece of paper uh, you can do like I did and write prediction on it which you can't see because of the light let me try and, there you go I wrote prediction on it so uh, and just don't write you can write blank in it if you want and you don't have to write prediction on it. I just like to do that. And fold it in half just like that. So I just don't really like to write anything on it. But you could write something like a blank card or something. But I just like to have it blank. So you're only blank cards on the bottom. And you're going to start like this. You're going to say, okay, so I could shuffle the deck if you want. And you're going to overhand shuffle. You're just going to slip off the top and bottom card using your thumb and four fingers. And you're going to do this in front of them. Like they say they're here. You're doing this in front of them. Alright, so they don't see that you're slipping that card off them just like you're over shuffling the deck and you could false cut you know do whatever you want but uh, I just like to false shuffle you're just like I could shuffle if I want you're not trying to prove a point that the deck shuffled or anything you're just trying to show that you could if you wanted to all right so you still have your card on the bottom you're like but I don't really have to shuffle because all the cards are blank so you're just gonna show the bottom you'll be like all the cards are blank you're gonna show the bottom okay so now what you're going to do is you're just going to do something called Hindu Shuffle. If you don't know how to do a Hindu Shuffle, it's okay. Uh, there are tutorials. I'm just going to go into it kind of quickly. You're just going to hold it like this. Uh, these two fingers, thumb here, and your middle finger is kind of dangling to the side along with your pinky. And this middle finger and thumb are going to come and just strip some cards off the top and catch them in Mechanics Grip in your right hand. Or Dominant Hand, whatever. So you're just going to show the bottom again, like that. Strip off some cards, square up. And when you click like that, when you're hitting them together, the brain kind of loses memory of which card, which packs which. And they have no clue that you're showing the bottom card every single time. I have tried, don't worry, I've done this to people. They have no clue. They think they're seeing a different card every time. That's, this is a good, and you get to a pretty good convincer here that I didn't use in the performance, but I'll show you. You're going to show the top card. You're like, alright, so I showed you from bottom to top that all the cards are blank. And then their brain's like, yeah, they did. They showed me that the bottom card was blank, and they showed the top card was blank. So in their mind, they're going to be like, okay, he went through the deck, all the cards are blank. Okay? So they are fully convinced that all these cards are blank. Alright? So, now what you're going to do is you're just going to force the top card using a method that doesn't flash it. So you could just do a slip force, which is, you know, you riffle down and slip that card. You could do a riffle force, where you cut the deck, catch a break just like that. Uh, riffle down wherever they say stop you just grab at the break like that I just grabbed at the break and they said stop on the blank card okay so but I'll show you the way I did you can use any of those ways any way you want without flashing I'm gonna show you the way I did it just makes it seem like the most free choice ever and that's what makes this trip more impossible in my opinion so they touch the back of any card so obviously they don't touch the back of a blank card unless they touch the back of the top card which would be awesome uh, <coughs> so They've touched the back of a random card. Alright, this is not a blank card. And you can do this, and you're like, okay, so you could touch the back of any card. And as you do this, you're getting a push off pinky break, just like this. You're getting a break under that top card. And you're gonna lay this card on top, grab everything at the break, and just perform a double lip. Just like that. So they think they've touched the back of a blank card, but actually they have not. Okay? So 
trick is going good so far. What you're going to do is this move that covers up a double lift, but you're going to have to do it carefully because that's what's complicated. You're going to have to do it without flashing this bottom card. So what you're going to do is you're going to be like flipping it over, and now when you get about to here, these fingers are going to grab that card right there. These three fingers are going to grab that top card, okay? So it'll look a little something like this. They're gripping. They're going to grip that card just like that, okay? And now you're going to turn this deck about like this, okay? And it's okay, like say they're here, uh, kind of angle this. Don't really angle it toward them. Never mind, that's a bad idea. So, <laughs> you know, just hold it sideways like this. Kind of have it underneath them, right? Like under their heads. So, like they're seeing it from the same view you guys are seeing it. And just slipping it off just like that. So you're pulling it out just like this. You've tilted it, you're pulling it out just like this. But not enough, but not too much where they're going to see that card. And quickly like that. And then this card will cover up as you're just squaring everything up here. All right? Full speed, it'll look a little something like this. Just like that. So, you've done it without flashing. You're good so far. You're just going to lay it right here. Lay the rest of the deck down. They feel like they've touched the back of any card. And the fact that you just pull out one card really does make them convinced that they touched the back of a blank card. And you'll be like, okay, look. Here's what's really cool. My prediction was blank card. And they're going to be like, wow, this is a dumb trick. And you're going to be like, well, I know what you're thinking. This is a dumb trick. And you're just simply going to spread out all the cards face up and show them that all the cards are different except for theirs. All right. And that um, that's the trick, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hit this video with a like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.